Hi guys, it's Camille from Chicken Scratch and Sniff. Today I'm going to share with you four more ideas for how to teach Howard W. Hunter Chapter 21, which is all about faith and testimony. It's a beautiful chapter. It's a great one to do right before the holiday seasons as we kind of work more on our faith and focus on that a bit more. So I'm excited for you guys to teach this lesson. All right, the first idea that I have for you um, <clears throat> is more of a visual. I know this whiteboard is big, so I'm going to kind of try to show you as much as I can. On this small screen but um you can do this first one in two ways so I'm gonna kind of show you both okay so here's hmm, here's the whiteboard okay and this is talking about the price of things so kind of like I would write on the top is the price right <clears throat> and so on here it's backwards so this way <laughs> I have dinner on this side and so that's this is the first way you can do it where you show them what the thing is and then they try to guess what the price is and so you can and you're going to talk about not just price as in dollars but price as in what do you have to give so for example for dinner it's not just the money that you spend on groceries it's also the time and the planning and the cleanup and things like that that's involved with that price and then you can say well are you willing to pay the price for dinner and most people are going to say yes even though they don't always want to right <laughs> okay so then the other way that you can do it is you start with the back side where the price is instead. And so this one, for example, can you see that? Is it says $10,000 in time. So what would be that? And are you willing to pay that price without knowing what it is that you're paying for? And then this one says um, hard work, time, patience, as in it's going to take a lot of months, maybe years of a lot of hard work in order to to get this thing and so you can ask people you know which one would you pick why do you choose that way um maybe people are trying to pick the ten thousand dollar one because they think that it's going to be a greater reward maybe people pick the one that's only ten dollars because or the one that only takes time because it's free you just have to put in that effort um and so you can kind of talk about that and then you can flip them over and this one says school and this one is faith and so in the chapter, it talks about, are we willing to pay the price? You know, because a lot of people, this is not in, the, um, in one of the sections, that a lot of people give up developing faith because it is a hard path. It's not something that you just instantly attain. It's not like you follow A, B, and C, and bam, you get the results. You have to work on it, and you have to develop a lot of different things, and you have to continually work on faith in order to have it, in order to create that testimony. And so it says that a lot of people aren't willing to do that. And so that's why I'm saying um, call this one, is the price right? Because are you willing to pay the price? Is that the price that you um, accept in order to get the result that you want? Okay, so idea number two. It, um, faith and testimony um, reminded me of something in journal conference recently about, hold on, i got to find my other prop. <laughs> about how faith and testimony doesn't necessarily mean um, seeing harder, seeing more. It means seeing differently because we have to see with our spiritual eyes, right? We can't just see faith with our natural man eyes. And so I'll demonstrate this with a couple of props. And you can have people come up to the front for this. So I have binoculars and I have sunglasses. And then you can have somebody that doesn't have anything on. So bring them to the front of the class and ask them to see in a corner or something across the room and say, what do you see there? And they have to hold these up. So what I would do is on one of these, just one of them, I would put like a piece of paper here that says what I actually want them to see. You know, maybe it's a picture of a dove, maybe it's the word faith, but I would put that in here. And so when they hold them up, that's what that person sees, but everybody else can't see it. And you can be like, are you sure you don't see it? It's right over there, look harder. And they're like, no, I don't see it. Say, well, look, go look closer. No, I don't see it. And, and then we'll ask this person who has the different one what they see and how they were able to see it. It wasn't because um, they weren't, um, it's not because they didn't get close enough. These people weren't able to see. It was because they were seeing differently and we have to see with our spiritual eyes. So that's just kind of a way to demonstrate it. And I know that sometimes these things seem kind of goofy, but you guys, it honestly is ways that, that kind of stick with us when we do these types of props and things and help um, different types of learning that way. 
So if it's not something that you normally do, go ahead and give it a shot. Don't be afraid of it, okay? Okay, idea number three. Got lots of props today. <laughs> In the manual, section four, it talks about how students are willing to do all kinds of experiments in the labs to get all the figure out all these different theories and test things out and so you can have your own lab experiment um so this is my testimony beaker it's just a vase i don't have a beaker <laughs> and then i have some um flower tubes you know what you stick on the flowers and go in here because i don't really have test tubes okay <laughs> So these are pretty cheap that you can find. And in the section four, again, it talks about key things that are needed in order to develop a testimony. So what you can do is you can find people ahead of time to talk about each one of these things. I think there's five. And ask them to say how that contributed to a testimony. And so they can come up, either share a personal experience or just some thoughts on it or read a quote from the manual about this specific thing. And then when they're done, they pour it into the beaker. Now, what I think would be kind of fun is to fill these up with different colors. And so you have something, some cool color at the end, maybe dilute it and together they create something better or put food coloring in this one and not in these ones. So it just is a better visual. Um, <clears throat> but how all these things are necessary in order for us to develop that testimony and how we have to constantly add to it, stir it. And just the different experiences with these. And if you don't call people ahead of time, that's okay too. But you can just hand out the beakers to people and ask them to come up. And you can ask them questions or have them read something. Okay? So that's another one. And it goes great with experiment on the word, right? <clears throat> okay, last thought is President Uchtdorf. You've got to love his talk from the women's session where it's fourth floor, last door. And that goes so well with this lesson and with the fact that faith is a lot of work. And sometimes we knock on that first door and we expect that answer and we don't get it. And so we knock on the second door and we're like, surely this time, nope. And we knock on the third door and we're like, come on, I thought I was doing everything right. And then we give up because we didn't find it. But President Uchtdorf tells us to go to the fourth floor, the last door, right? Like those missionaries did. And how we have to keep trying in that we're developing that testimony along the way as we exercise that faith by continuing to knock. And then the reward at the end is so much greater than we expected in the first place when we walked on that first door. And then he also talked about two things that faith are not. And I think that's a great point that you can bring into your lesson as well. But make sure that somebody isn't going to be teaching that the fourth Sunday so you're not taking from their lesson. Okay? All right. I hope that helps you guys. Come join our private Facebook group. Share your ideas. Talk about these lessons a little bit more. I'm hoping to get the rest up by the end of the month. So cross your fingers. Pray for me. <laughs> you guys have a great week.